What's up guys? Time to show off a cool biohazard build. I have not done one in a minute and um, had the perfect opportunity. I uh, had a tiny nick in a brushed case and I sat there and I worked on it for a while and I was like, you know what? I've brushed it in and it looks good, but why don't we just take this opportunity to age this case? <clears throat> so Used some Presto Black on it and blacked it out. Did a little bit of sanding on it just to kind of, or I guess, yeah, it's sanding, but it's basically just making sure that we can see the uh, the brush marks in there. So I, I took a steel dial, blacked it out completely, did some light buffing on it to lighten up the low spots, and then some light sanding in one direction to just give it a cool brush to look um, did a matching milled silver bezel that style so you can kind of see in the sides where it's slightly you know brighter but I did not go back and sand or anything on this these are the mill marks that are just put in there um, so you've got a uh, brushed and milled solid one piece bezel uh, that does your minutes going on around there I took some silver Moldova hands and I actually put some uh, of the same, it's like an ager, but it's not called ager, so I want to say ager each time, but it essentially distresses them. So I did a little bit on the hands too, you can't quite see it, but if you saw original ones, they have a lot more shine to them, so it distressed them just a little bit. Did the same on the crown. We did a radioactive logo here, did a radioactive logo on the case back itself, did a biohazard band here, and this actually is a strap where we were trying to do some wallets, but the wallets came out the right, wrong size, so then we just cut the wallets up, and I thought, that looks awesome for kind of a distressed band, so we just branded it. Did the same thing with a brush preview buckle, just use the Presto Black on it, and then light sanding on it. Did the logo on here. And that's how this came out. Oh, obviously, did some lug extensions. Did them the same way. That just gives a little bit of room. You can always take these off and put these directly on there. But this allows for complete mobility of the strap, whereas otherwise the strap gets pushed into here, and there's a lot less flexibility on it because my straps are usually a little bit thicker. This one is done a little bit thinner, but this can be taken right out. You just pop these right off. Take the, your band off and then just use these push pins to go right back in here. So I love the way the case back came out. It's not as distressed, but it really filled in the brushed, uh, the mill marks on the back. So I think I gave it a really cool look. And obviously this is the perfect time for us to do a video when the hands are stacked on top of each other. But bezel on this will turn left, it'll turn right. It is not out to the edge, so it should only move when you want it to move. Um, automatic mechanical, there is a signed rotor in here. You just can't see it. I promise you it is inside there. Um, Back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking. At that point, you can wind. And a wind is a turn this way. Turning it back towards you doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to keep your finger spacing and just go back and forth. If you do that for four or five seconds before you put it on, that mix with the rotor movement in the back will keep your time throughout the day. But if you're going to be driving or not active at all, make sure you just go ahead and wind it for another 10 or so seconds and max out your 31-hour power reserve on it. You cannot overwind it, so don't worry about that. When you're happy with your winding, you're going to pull it to the one and only click. You'll see that it keeps moving because it does not have a hacking movement in there. You'll also notice you've got a wobble crown. This deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement, so when you're pushing and prying on it, you're not putting any adverse pressure on anything. Okay, Google, what time is it? 2.11 p.m. When you're good, you're going to push it over, get it out of that time setting, and then wind it down. 
And that is your build. This thing came out awesome looking. I hope you love it. Whomever's getting it. As with every build, it's going to come with matching beads. This will come in a silver biohazard box. It will come with watch foamer. This is a cleaner that's good on all glass and metal parts. Everything here in the center, non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue, as well as a microfiber. Will also come with leather conditioner to keep this strap perfectly soft. Apply it on the front and back if you ever feel that it's not as soft or not as pliable. A little bit will go a long way. Use a rag. Use you know something other than one of the microfibers. And then lastly, you're going to get some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 from Amazon, just repackaged. It's like poly watch. It's for your acrylic glass. You can scratch it, but if you do, you'll put a tiny bit of this on it and buff it out using your included microfiber that matches. Uh, if the scratch is up and down, go left and right, fill in that scratch, buff it, haze it out, see if it's still there. If it is, revisit it after this has solidified in 5-10 minutes. You don't want to remove what you've added in there when you're rebuilding up the acrylic. So that is the build. Like I said, if it's going to you, congrats. I appreciate your support. I hope you love the build. I think it came out awesome. I was so happy with the way everything just has that like dark, distressed look to it. Um, and like, in, I mean, the camera picks up everything. But I swear in person it looks better. But I mean it's it's as close as you can, you know, get. The camera really amplifies when like lights bouncing off and stuff like that. Like looking at it right here and looking at it through there, in the camera all that's blue, but in real life, that's not there at all. There is some a little bit up here and a little bit over here, but in the camera, all this is right there. I don't have that. It just literally picks up all that that reflection. Which isn't necessarily a problem, but it's, you do get some angles that you don't quite, you know, in real life, I, it's a little more clear. Like, I can see this dial almost perfectly clear. In here, it has a nice reflection, which also looks cool, but it's not what I'm getting in real life. So, um, that's just what happens with those uh, domed acrylic. So, but, uh. That's the build. If it's going to you, thank you so much for your support. I think you'll really love this strap. It is super soft and waxy. Um, I think you'll really like the build too. This, although it looks distressed, this is super smooth. It it literally just, I don't know how to describe it other than it's extremely smooth. So, um, now this, you feel a little bit back here. It kind of has a cool feel to it. So, that's it. Thank you so much for your support. If you want me to do something custom and unique, reach out. I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.